What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to blur out moving objects in Vegas Pro 15. So here is the same clip you saw at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to be blurring out my face on this and the way you do that is pretty simple. First of all you need your video duplicated. So right click the track and duplicate the track so you have one above and one below. The one we're going to be working with is the one above the one below has to stay there and it is important it stays there. So the first thing we're doing is coming over to the pan and crop. And from here we're coming to the masking tool. So enable it by checking the box. And over to the side we have an anchor creation tool. Which is as you can see a free mask. So if there's something specific in a certain shape you want to mask out or blur out. Then you would use this. We also have a rectangle or square. So if you want it as a square make sure you hold shift. And as you can see, it'll stay in proportion. If you don't hold shift, then you get a free uh, rectangle. Like for example, if you want to do license plates, uh, this is how you would do it. And then finally, we have an oval or ellipse. So once again, you can be all over the place. Or if you hold shift, it will stay in proportion like a circle. So for this video, I'm blurring out my face. So the circle will work really well for this. So first of all, I'm going to be zooming in and now what I'm going to be doing is getting the oval holding shift and drawing a mask over my face. Now, that's how I want it. So I'm going to X out of it and very quickly, why do you need two video tracks? Well, if I mute the track below now, as you can see, it's just created a circle on my face. So having that track below, this will enable the whole video to stay. So now head over to video effects, come over to Gaussian Blur and you pick a blur that you would like. I'm sticking to Gaussian Blur, I'm adding on the default and we're adding this onto the top track that we just created that circle mask. Now you can see there is somewhat of a blur on me. What we're going to be doing is turning it down and you just want to play with this until you can get a blur that you like. For example here, that's a really good blur. These are the settings I used, 340 for the horizontal and 136 for the vertical. So we can now X out of that and we've blurred it out. However, let me just turn the quality down so this plays smoothly. I'm going to play it through. And what we get is that mask stays right there and I just walk off. So this is where some keyframing comes into it. For this, you can come to the pan and crop and make sure you have sync cursor checked. What we're going to do is come to the normal edit tool and we're going to zoom in. Now what we're going to do is come across in our timeline. And as you can see, every time we go out, we're going to right click, select all and drag this back over. Now you can see I skipped a few frames there. You can do that as well. You don't need to be completely accurate. So once again, I'm going to keep doing this until I am completed. So I'll be back to you when I've done this. Now, as you can see right here, I'm about to walk off the, off the uh, tree like that. So this is where we now need to get rid of this mask. So I X out of it and now all we need to do is trim this top track down. Now you'll notice the audio actually went down as well. If your audio is important for you, just left click it, press U on your keyboard and drag it back across the end of this. Then hold control, select the middle clip and press G on your keyboard to group them two back together. So now this is what we've just done. So that track is going to follow my face or it should follow my face the entire time until I go off screen like that. Now, remember I did mention uh, Pixelate earlier. If you tried Gaussian Blur, you don't like it, then by all means, what we can do is come over to Video Effects. Well, it's actually right in front of me, so it's right here. Um, drag and drop the default onto the top track. We can take off the radial Pixelate, and now we get custom control of how this will look. As you can see, that's a really good one we've got there. So that's horizontal 871 and vertical 721. And when you can see, it's got a really good blur. So I'll turn this down. Hopefully it'll play. So as you can see, just like that, it's going to track my face the entire time. And that's how you can do it as well using Pixelate. Me personally, I do think Gaussian Blur does make a better blur. But Pixelate, I know TV shows do use it. So if you want to use it, you can. But that's how simple it is to blur moving objects out in Vegas Pro 15.